All right, welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. Wait, it's not New Super Mario. It's Adventure Super Mario Bros. We're taking on World 2 to 2. Last time we took on World 2 to 1, and we got all three star coins, I think, on our first try. Or did it take another try? But there's something up there. And last time... Wait, what the heck? Oh, snap. It's level sort of confusing. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, last time I sort of left off talking about uh, Clone Tag Team, New Super Mario Bros. 5, Clone Tag Team, a hack of this game, which involves you playing with alongside a clone, which is just a function you can have, and the clone completely copies, there's a star coin up there, I know that, which completely copies everything you do, so, I don't know, it might be hard, but I'm gonna end up doing it, but it's made by Mario Fanatic, the same person who made, oh man. Oh man, this I'm going too fast. I'm, I'm just gonna fall at one point. Third star coin, and it's made by the wait. If I got all three star coins, then that level's done pretty much. But I'll see if I can quickly finish about this. But the hack is made by the same person who made New Super Mario Bros. 2, Mario Fanatic 64, and New Super Mario Bros. 2 wasn't really a hack. It was just pretty much an edited version of every single level. So it didn't really seem to be a hack. It just seemed like an edited version of every level and I didn't want to play it because most levels were edited but there are a few levels that weren't edited and then made me look it made me feel like I'm playing the original game. I want that. And I don't want that. So I ended up not doing it but with clone tag team coming out on July fourteenth, I'm gonna do that because I'll probably be finished world two by then and I'm gonna need something to do. And there's a flag so I'll continue this in the next episode where we take on World 2 to 3.